Hey everyone, welcome back to another Whiskey Quickie. And today we are looking at a new release, well, new to us, I guess you could say, when we are talking about our friends over at Frey Ranch. I remember the first time we reviewed Frey Ranch and their bourbon, we opened the bottle up. Didn't even we try got a, it. We got a full bottle that time. We did, we got a, but we got a full bottle, but we tried it and we were like blown away. And all of a sudden after we were done, we're sitting there making phone calls, figuring out how we can get in touch with them. Can we get barrels from them? Can we get a private selection? And that really kind of turned us on to them. And I believe they're probably the worst known secret now in bourbon is that they are coming out with some great whiskey out there in Nevada land. Yeah, and Pat Heist really turned us on to them. He sung their praises early on, you know, saying they're making really great whiskey. And he was right. I mean, he would know, so. Yes, and it's all that sort of farm to bottle scenario because everything's done right there on the, the, the fridge glass. Room. Yes. And it's legit there though. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> yeah. It's true. They didn't say, well, we started off with some 21% from Indiana mm -hmm. just to get us through the next few years. No, they, yeah. they really, they, they kind of did it the right way here. So what we're going to be reviewing today is Frey Ranch's rye, and this is their single barrel and barrel proof expression. They do have a hunter proof expression, but when we put out to vote, people said, we want you to review the barrel proof. So that's what we're doing here. So this is aged in number four char barrels and then capped with number three char heads. And this single barrel rye has a mash bill of 100% winter cereal rye. It's all grown and harvested on site at Frey Ranch Distillery by Colby Frey himself. This is non-age dated, but I do believe that it's somewhere between four to five years old. Our barrel right here has a staggering proof. This is also barrel 620 that we're doing. and has a proof of 131.8. Oh boy. And this also has an SRP of $100. But here we go. On to the nose. Okay. I mean, there's a lot, ton of barrel influence on this. I mean, for me, it's just a, it's a, it's a heavy rye influence. That's what I'm kind of getting out of it. I can't pull a specific flavor. I mean, there's a ton of baking spices, but I'm yeah. really getting that, like, just a lot of barrel notes on it for me yeah for me it's like i said it's that rye influence i guess there is some baking spices but for the most part it's really whole it's really hard to pull something out of it um i want to say like cedar is, an, is another note i'm getting out of it but again that might just be me yeah i think that's just you no okay I mean, no it's let's go ahead and hit the taste here then oh that's nice it's minty. It's a uh, minty, more like uh, winter green. You know what I'm talking about? Like, the, like double mint? No, no, like if you remember back to your college days, you put like a skull packet in there. You had like the winter green kind of flavor. Yeah. I'm not getting, I'm not getting skull bandits. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm just saying I have, it, it doesn't have to be the bandits. You can actually get it in the form of chewing gum as well. Right. It doesn't have to be that, but it definitely has a, a wit for me, a winter green flavor to it. Yeah, to me, it's more of like along the lines of like a thin mint. There's some chocolate, some creaminess to it. There's that mint. But then it really opens up to this nice, I don't know, there's like this nice oak presence on the end. It's not like, it's just like a nice, like barrel char influence to me. Um, like it's a little bit, not charcoal-y, but like a little bit of barrel char or something on it. <laughs> not charcoal-y, but barrel char. You, yeah. really, you really nailed that one. <laughs> I know, I know. No, I, if you I try this, you'll understand what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, it's an interesting one. It is, yeah. It's one I, I'm like, just want to keep exploring and keep going. So, um, that which makes it interesting. So, let's go ahead and rate it then. So, on the nose, where are you at? Oh, sideways. I mean, I, it's always three quarters. There's some, it, I, there I was say sideways because it was like I couldn't pull yeah, anything out of I, it. I just, was trying to pick some things out, but it was really hard. I'm kind of with you there. So, on the taste, where are you at here? I really like it. Thumbs up. I, I thought it was fantastic. And there's a lot, a lot of things that I still want to explore with it. And yeah, I would keep wanting to go back for more and try it. You know, taking your lab and start trying to break it down and figure out the chemical <laughs> compounds. And... Like, how can they get us some barrels so I can work with it? No, <laughs> and the finish. Thumbs up. I really like it. I like that oak presence. I like that charcoal. Like, it's almost like a toasted, not, but like a very faint toast or something. I don't know. There's something very witty about the finish that I like. Well, at 131 proof, I would hope it would deliver <laughs> yeah. some sort of good finish on it. And it does. I mean, we're... But it's not like... At 131, I'm not like, holy shit, this is burning my mouth. It's pretty... 
still palatable. It's pretty approachable for 131, whatever 100, approachable 131 is. Whatever that could be. Yep. Nine points shy of, of hazmat. But that's, tr- that's true. That is our review of Frey Ranch's single barrel straight rye whiskey at Barrel Proof. With that, cheers, everybody. We'll see you next time. Mm-hmm.